so when we started it was taking time because there was an IO error okay, there was an IO error which I have recorded here on rack 3 it was uh, saying there is IO error so what I did I just uh, uh, I just had the backup I just used that backup and copied back so so this was uh, like you know uh, rack new dot VDI okay rack new what new VDI just copied back and restarted the process all we did is here just initiated the same command just by giving add node dot sh silent mode cluster new nodes rack 3 cluster new virtual host names rack 3 VIP right so from there you have seen during the session itself so once that is done home is copied to new nodes and save the inventory is done now it's saying a new inventory has been created on one or more nodes in the session however it has not yet been registered as the central inventory of the system so we have to run our normal process like for a inst root.sh and they have given the same thing here so what they are saying the following configuration scripts needed to be executed as root user in each new cluster node each script in the list below is followed by a list of nodes so how many of our nodes we have added like one node we have added so we need to run as the root user yeah because the execution is as grid user and uh, the scripts execution add node script is as root the scripts execution as is clearly mentioning here so what I would do is I'll just take uh, this now proceed with the installation then only you can consider it is done so during this process it is going to create all the required services demands processes and everything okay so let me get to rack 3 right so in rack 3 host name yeah so what we can do is root dot sh right that is done so this is the last one which is going to do everything for us the way we did it during the installation right the second one is from grid home root dot sh so same process you see now yes on rack 3 it is setting up now so while it is going on we can see how the system is currently echo dollar oracle sadi crs ctl stat resource hyphen t see there is no reference of rack 3 yet now it is going to add rack 3 part of it right so we don't see anything that belongs to rack 3 now remember this is all we have seen during the initial cluster installation the same process now this root.sh is responsible for uh, adding the entries into OCR for rack 3 now onwards if you say OLS nodes it's going to show you three nodes not two anymore so you can uh, use like o OLS right so now it's rack 1 rack 2 once the process is done now it's adding the entries to init tab so this is also something like the second node root.sh tries to try uh, start this now then it realizes yes it is already there clustered then instead of restarting it is going to join the cluster so that's the thing we're going to say in couple of minutes will be there Yeah. 
now started it's, it's going to change there also <coughs> top command yep see increase the number than previous now it's going to go up that's okay zero four one zero six two yeah copy this stuff from here and no yeah let me copy from here output set result txt I'm going to share with you guys save this and uh, now that three yeah Calm down now. Sure. See this. <coughs> the first one is CSS daemon started in exclusive mode, but found an active CSS daemon on node rack one because already rack is clustered and stuff that it is joining the it is terminating here. Active cluster was found during the exclusive startup, restarting to join the cluster. Okay. So only first time when you run on the first node, only it starts in exclusive, then completes then onwards it even saying on which node it is being So let's see is there anything got changed on the cluster side yet.
not yet Here we go, ASM3 is started. not yet towards end of the process once it is all successful yep OCR keys for user root see rack 3 now you check on the other one yep rack 3 has been added now it's online that's it that's it configure oracle grid infrastructure for cluster is succeeded now you go and check here plus nodes now it's going to show you three so now onwards cluster contains three nodes that's it guys hope this gives some idea okay see you bye